Hey, what's going on, everybody? MacDub44. Welcome back to Gridiron Greats, guys. Today, I am just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use our trade calculator that we're using for the first time in this league. And for those of you that have used trade calculators, this one's a little bit different. I've kind of taken two calculators that I've used in the past and that I like and merged them. And then the commissioners, we agreed on, on the values and, uh, and and here it is. I will say that it's a work in progress, right? This is brand new. So some things may need tweaking, but uh, for the most part, we think it's pretty good. And if those tweaks need to be made, then we can always make that. We'll definitely do that. Um, we do, this is, this is required to be used, right? Now you yourself don't actually have to fill it out. It would be great if you did, it would make our lives easier. And that way you can know if a, um, if a trade is going to be acceptable or not. Um, but it's easier if you have a computer or a laptop since it's in Excel. But you can also use Google Sheets, which is a free app on your phone. Um, but then at the very least, just send the information to, the, to a commissioner and we'll enter it into this trade calculator and we will um, run it for you. So here is an example of a trade that I have worked out. And I will go over exactly what I did and who the player is and, and, and things like that. But this is the way that the calculator looks, guys. Um, so don't mess with anything up at the top here. Um, team A, if they were going to make any trades for draft picks, they could they could change the information here. Uh, it's a drop down if it's a current pick or a future pick, uh, the round and the pick, or easy enough, you can just put the overall number. But we'll get into that in a little bit here. But down below here is where you actually input the information for the player. And the uh, player is given a value based on his position, his overall rating, his age, years remaining on a contract, uh, their rank within their position, their development, their speed, and that's how you kind of get this number. So this is actually Keenan Allen, guys, right? I'm a Charger fan, so I just picked him. So Keenan Allen obviously is a receiver. He's 91 overall. His age is 28. He's only got one year left on his deal. And that's actually going to make him a little less valuable, right? So you can see here's the value for him right now. And let's say he had a decent, uh, decent amount of length on his contract. Um, that that actually only increases his value, right? But he's only got one year left, so you're going to take a risk if you get him that you'd have to resign him. He is actually the tenth rated receiver in Madden. So you use the drop down. He's top 16. Uh, then development, he's actually an X factor, but I'll sh we only sh we only pick superstar here, and I will show you where um, we add value for superstars, right there. Um, he's superstar. He's 89 speed. 89 speed actually gets him no extra value. Let me just show you. Let's say he were like 94 speed, right? He bumps up about 300 points, but he's not. He's 89. All right. You can see here. So his base value is only 1,241. He gets an extra 1,000 points right here. Is any player being traded in X-Factor? Yes. So he gets it, if so, at 1,000 points. His X-Factors obviously are OP in this game. Uh, an X-Factor receiver, at least based on Madden 20, was very OP. So there's 1,000 points extra. Now let's say the Charger guy, Warren, wanted to get crazy, and he also wanted to trade Joey Bosa, who's also an X-Factor then obviously we would add just add another a thousand points in this field because that's two x factors okay so that's his value and guys what i did i just did uh i just went ahead and did um draft picks for keenan allen just to see just this is basically just to show you how to use the trade calc and how it works right um so here uh we traded for draft picks i just i just picked the chiefs just because that's the first team I saw in the game um, and obviously I don't think the Chiefs and the Chargers would trade but you never know so the way that Madden does it uh, is if you trade for a draft pick it's got a projected overall pick in that round right so right now the Chiefs if they were to trade right now and this is kind of true in real life like you don't know what type of pick that's gonna be so you run the risk of it being uh, maybe a bad pick uh, but it's kind of based off of you know previous uh, previous history on that how that team did, but so the game is saying that the Chiefs have a projected first round late pick thirtieth overall in this year's next and in, in the next draft twenty twenty one, so that's where we put this in here first round thirtieth, 
if you wanted to guys and it's easy for the first round you could just go in and say this is the 30th overall pick and you notice it's the exact same as putting in information here but this is easy enough um so a first round pick number 30 overall in the in the in the current draft is worth 870 points which isn't going to be good enough all right 870 and 224 doesn't get you to that magic number which is plus or minus 500 that's where we have it set up for it to be an acceptable trade the value difference has to be plus or minus 500 so then we added a future first round pick that's also a 30th because of the way that the game does it is it just copies the same overall pick uh, projected so you can see the difference in what a future first round pick looks like for number 30 as in what the current one does so the future is actually 75 percent of the value of the first round of the current one and i think that makes sense uh, hopefully it does uh, and that still wouldn't have made it like so if we take this value out here you can see that two first round picks one this year one next year but both late rounders are not enough for for keenan allen because he's that x factor basically but then when we add in a current second round pick so if we go in and we add that back into the calculator here oh boy i've kind of messed this up a little bit um because i i deleted it incorrectly um we can always fix it though don't you don't you worry guys uh this isn't good for the for the demonstration video but that value is back in guys if you're this should be this should be clean when you when you get the calculator but just hit delete um it, don't don't hit backspace it's dumb um but here we go so a current late second round pick is almost worth 500 points in here now we got this magical number it's plus it's within that plus or minus 500 range so this is saying that if both players wanted to do this that the trade calculator would accept an x factor top 10 receiver in the game keenan allen being worth a late first round pick this year a late first round pick next year and a late second round pick this year um and in my mind i think that's i think that's a fair trade i don't think it's something that would happen but uh but there's trades all over the place in madden that probably wouldn't happen but if they did they would be fair and so that's kind of what this calculator is trying to get at it's trying to do and and, and for the most part i think it works um, I do want to say that the way that this will work is uh, Team A will have to post one team in the trade posts in the trade that this is what the trade is The other team has to go in and post that they accept it. They approve it Then a commissioner goes in and reviews it and once it's approved that trade is good You cannot back out once you post it in the trade uh, Chat and the other team accepts it. You cannot back out of the trade. Okay, that's it's like a signed seal delivered uh, contract okay so that's how it's gonna work guys if you have any questions just please reach out to me it's basically finding the players player card entering the information uh, if they're an x-factor make sure you go down here and add that information uh, the draft picks may be the, the thing that, that kind of confuses people and again if we see something that uh, maybe passes the trade calc but looks a little fishy then we can always make changes and adjustments uh, so again, guys, if you have any issues, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, trades are good to go. You can start sending them in. See you guys.